I would have to thank Governor Emily because she, we go to the same school and we grew up together and I honestly feel like I ran for this position because I felt like I could be like her and be like what she has been to all of us girls, state girls. I actually decided I wanted to run for governor before I came to Girl State. I decided that I was going to do it a couple days before. My dad's like, have you been thinking about what you're going to run for? And I was like, I think I'm going to run for governor. And so ever since then, I just decided that's what I was going to do. I don't know, basic rights is one that we've been going over. I think a lot of things fall underneath basic rights, and I think that equality is one of the biggest things that I want and that everybody will want, because if there's equality, everybody would get along. I hope to inspire the younger girls to meet their potential and be strong and go outside of their box and meet new girls and have a wonderful girls' date experience. Like what I said before, just for everybody to feel welcome and to feel uh, part of Girls' Day and to feel as a big family like we all are. Um, I've kind of not been getting very much sleep, so I've had a lot of emotions. So I've been like crying and doing stuff like that, but I've really come to know all the girls and I've become happy and I love every single one of the girls that I've talked to and I hope that I can get to know all the other girls throughout the rest of the week here. that it's okay to be yourself and nobody can change who you are because I I'm the only me. I'm the only Emily Chelson here and nobody can be a better me than I am. Matthew McConaughey, I call him Matthew McCotty Body. <laughs> that's what I call him with all my friends, so that's who it is. Perfect. Dream date. Okay, I really, this is kind of an Idaho girl thing, but I really like it when, I, when a guy like, takes you mudding, going on a date, going muddying, getting dirty, because I love that kind of stuff. I love getting dirty and playing around in the dirt, so I think it'd be really fun to go on a date where I can either ride horses or go mudding or just do something outside. Well, it's kind of changed now because my family's coming and I forgot my dress, but it's super flowy and it's sparkly and it has gold and blue on it, so it's going to be exciting. Being a role model and helping everybody as much as they can and just continuing doing what I have been doing. Okay, well, I, the only person at home who knows that I'm running for this is my dad because I called him last night in a panic. What am I going to write about? I have to talk for five minutes. So I spent a little, like, 30 minutes talking to my dad about what I wanted to say and how to make, um, how to say what I wanted to say um, fluently and make it sound good. So I think it's going to be funny. Um, Senator Lexi and me just called my mom, and we left her a voicemail saying, oh, you know, your daughter just one governor, or she's governor-elect right now, so I don't know, it's going to be crazy telling them. I don't think they'll believe me. <laughs> Thank you for having me be the governor-elect, and I promise I won't let you down, and that I'm going to be the best representative of you guys all, for all of you girls. Thanks. <laughs>